Hey everybody, I'm Tim and welcome to my vlog channel. This week I caught a lot of people off guard when I posted a picture of my recent win at the Masters Division Boxing Tournament in Las Vegas. I think a lot of you who have watched me on the Cigars Daily YouTube channel and seen me around the HQ didn't know that I competed as a boxer. And this is actually something that's been a huge part of my life for almost 20 years. And I get the question a lot, like, Tim, how does your life as a guy in the you know world of premium cigars, how does that all blend together with boxing? I don't really know. That's not something that's really in my wheelhouse. What I know is that I do love both things and I typically go to work and work for 12 hours on a Wednesday and then go straight to the gym just like I did tonight and spar for like 12 rounds. But certainly this has been a huge part of my life. I wanted to share a little bit more about it with you guys because this has been like majorly transformative for me. Something that I certainly wouldn't be the person that I am today, but has also helped me reshape who I am as a person. And so I wanted to take you guys inside it just a little bit. You see, these days, Fighting is not something that pays off a tremendous amount unless you're really good at it and you can do it professionally. It's kind of dumb to just get hit in the face or head or kicked or elbows to the nose or anything like that unless you're like one of the UFC guys. And even those guys don't make a ton of money for doing it. And certainly if you're not fighting as a pro or an amateur, then it's just a lot of trouble. And that's exactly what my dad told me when I was a kid. I mean, these days you get into a fight, you could get sued and then you could, or you could go to jail. There's all kinds of consequences that there weren't 20 or 30 years ago. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to do. My dad told me, he's like, son, fighting is not anything you ever want to do. You want to make sure that you avoid fighting at all costs, unless there's no other option. And this is true. I mean, I think for young people today, this is true. If you fight, you get suspended. You get and not even detention. I don't even think they do detention anymore. You get expelled from school. It's a whole mess. And certainly for me, I took those words from my dad to heart and I never fought anybody while I was in school ever. I would, whenever, when I would get altercations with kids, I had kids shorter than me slap my glasses off my face. I did nothing about it. In my mind, it made sense. It wasn't worth the trouble that I was gonna get in to have a fight with anybody and I just never did, even though I was bigger than a lot of guys in my school. And at the same time, it left me with this endless question a problem that as a man, I had to confront and had to face at some point, which is that when I was younger, I used to think about it this way. I don't even know if I could win a fight, but really what it was is that I didn't know if I had what it took to be dangerous, if I had what it took to be a threat to literally anybody else. I didn't know if I was tough enough to even stand up to somebody else because I had never really tested that. I was reading a book while well, I was, God, I must have been 21 or 22 years old by a dude named John Eldridge. This book is called Wild at Heart and it's about like being a man and doing this stuff and loving God and all that good stuff. And it's a great book. But John Eldridge in this book, he talks about how man is designed with a warring heart, a heart that's designed for battle. He says it's the reason every dude, I haven't read this book in like almost 20 years, but I remember it like it was yesterday. Every dude wants a battle to win. Every guy is looking for a damsel in distress to save. Every guy is looking for a war to have victory in, whether it's in business. And in the book, he's writing about this and he's literally says something, something to the effect of, this, is, this fact is basically the reason that boxing exists. And that was like, reading that, I was like, I can go do that. I can go try boxing. So I went and found a boxing gym in downtown Phoenix. It was literally the, one of the seediest places I've ever gone. It's literally a skid row in Phoenix now where that boxing gym used to be with this crazy old man. And he trained me in the fundamentals of boxing, but not the way that boxers do today, sort of in the way they did back in the 1950s when all exercise was super unhealthy and really bad for your joints. Like he would have me do these exercises where I put my hands on my hip and just jerk my neck to the sides like this. It was not a good idea, but I basically learned the fundamentals of boxing in that gym. I would get up every day of the week at five o'clock and drive about 20 or so minutes to downtown Phoenix and train there. 
I wanted to see if I could learn to fight. But what I learned is that boxing is a lot about discipline and focus. Are there dogs fighting behind me? I think there are. It's the same thing as what I got, honestly, out of my love and passion for cigars. I got into cigars because I thought they would make me a man. I was like something dudes did when they grown up. But what I learned is that it's about community and it's about an experience. Boxing was basically the same way. I got into boxing because I wanted to see if I could win a fight. But what I really learned is that it was about focus, dedication, and uh, training. Like these were things that were, were like totally foreign to me. The discipline that came with boxing was something that I actually really craved as a young man because there wasn't a tremendous amount of it in my life. I wasn't a great student. All I really knew was like that I wanted to play music and be in a band and I thought girls were good looking and had real no real direction. And so boxing for me took off very, very quickly. Now, in the last 18 years, it's something that I've practiced pretty regularly. There have been a few on and off seasons, but certainly in the last few years, I've gotten into it uh, very, probably as seriously as I've ever been into it. And now I am starting to fight again. So I hope you guys will keep up with me here. Truthfully, I've been thinking about posting on this channel a lot and for a long time. And so I want to be posting here and, and this is an opportunity for me to post stuff that's a little bit different than what I post on the Cigars Daily YouTube channel because uh, I want to have a channel where I can interact with you guys and even talk about stuff that, dear God, by God, might even be outside the world of cigars. There is so much that I have learned that has inspired me uh, as I've entered the world of boxing and in business and in content creation that I would just love to be able to share with you guys. That is what I want to do on this channel. If I can in some way impart the stuff that has caused me to get up off my lazy ass and work as hard as I can to be successful in as many things as I can, I would love to share that with people because it's changed my life. It really has. And now I won my most recent fight because my opponent got injured in the first round. Nobody wants to win that way. Uh, but he was a skilled guy and it was a great start to a fight. And I even talked to my trainer tonight. He said there's a chance I might have another fight in the next week. And if these dogs keep going, by God, I might have another fight in five minutes. I don't even know. But guys, stay tuned with me here on this channel. And I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't. I'll have a lot more to come. This will also be sort of a safe place in case anything ever happens to the big channel. So please subscribe here. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, bye now.